Welcome back. We are speaking to Honorable Minister, Ministry of Research and Technology, and he's Professor uh, Tessavitharana. So, Minister, referring to the Vidata program, uh, how did it all begin and actually how does it function? What are the benefits that are passed to the rural communities? Now, we are living in an age where uh, rapid development is t uh, taking place based on knowledge. We can't be ignorant and expect to to progress economically. So there's a lot of new knowledge being generated and we have to take that knowledge to the village. And uh, so the quickest way, the most efficient way of doing that is through the computer. So people in the village, our, at the moment, uh, the uh, computer literacy is uh, around 27%, 28%. It has gone up in the last three to four years uh, remarkably, and we can be very happy with uh, the ICT agency, which has played a very active role in, do in achieving this. Now, uh, when we go to the, the village, the level of literacy is very low. And uh, so to overcome this problem, on the one hand, there, are, there is a program to develop uh, computers, uh, laboratories in the schools, and that is going on apace. But there are people who are not in the schools, they are in the villages. So then they must also be taught the use of computers. So the, there are two programs, one is the Vidata program and there is the Nanasala program. The Vidata program, I am happy to say over this uh, period of time, more than 25,000 mainly young people have been given a basic training in uh, computer use free of charge. 25,000. Yes. And this has uh, been now raised, the level of teaching has been raised. We have, if you want to g g become a computer professional, there are uh, basic uh, d uh, diploma uh, examinations and the computer driving license uh, is uh, recognized world over as a basic qualification. And uh, now the training that is being provided at the Vidata centers has been raised up to that level. Right. So that the people getting that training will be able to uh, in, in future even become computer professionals right. going uh, using that as the stepping stone to to uh, re receive uh, more and more training Nanasala also does it come under your ministry it it uh, comes under the president uh, under the ICT agency but i work closely with the ICT agency there's professor Appa Singer who is the chairman uh, but we meet once a month and then the, the programs are worked out for national uh, ICT development, uh, which uh, is being done systematically as an e-Sri Lanka program and an e-government program, and that is going ahead. Now, along with this, the important thing uh, which the Vidata Center is doing is that uh, the, the scientists have developed various technologies which can add value to our raw materials. But these have been kept in the laboratories, uh, uh, in the research institutions, but not passed on to the village. So through the Vidata centers, these technologies are now being passed to the village. So How that does it happen? How is it transferred to the village? Yeah, the, for instance, supposing in a given area, now we'll say an area in which there is a, a, a cultivation of tomatoes. Now, you find that when the season comes, the prices come crashing down, and people often don't sell the tomatoes, they no one to buy them, they go waste. But from tomatoes, there is technology which has been developed at the Industrial Technology Institute, the ITI, to produce jam, sauces, uh, drinks, soft drinks, out of tomatoes, tomato juices. And this technology can be transferred through training courses to uh, 
people in those areas. And the Vidata Center is, the, is where this training is provided. And there, the, the, uh, any problems that they encounter, the, uh, I told you there is a scientist working there, they will be able to put the, the, far, the farmer's problems direct to the scientists. Right. So, uh, do you mean to say that you go to different districts and villages and look at their economy and their uh, rural uh, living standards and then gauge the need and the industry and then cater to that? Is that how it yeah, happens? It, it's like this. We, we have a questionnaire and then based on that questionnaire, we get a, 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 a collection of data. One is the human resources that are available there. That is so many people who have received such and such a training and so on. Then on the other side, what are the raw materials that are available in those villages? Then based on that, the, the, uh, science, the science graduate there will take a, make a decision, okay, say so this is the tomato growing area. They can produce those uh, items that I mentioned. Then he will contact the ITI and tell them, send a scientist over who will be able to train these people. There will be a workshop conducted. There will be literature provided. And they, they, then the people there are taught that technology. And the ne other point is people need credit to set up uh, the, the small industries, even as cottage industries. The, we have an arrangement with the People's Bank. And now 